Hello everyone, um, some people asked me to uh, make a tutorial about the installation of the PlayStation app and the PlayStation Remote Play on the uh, on non-Sony devices. So, in this video I will uh, show you how to do this and what you should do, what files you need and what programs you need. I will start by uh, uninstalling the PlayStation app. So you, if you have the PlayStation app installed, you should also uninstall it. Uh, you need uh, two apps to make this all work. First of all, you need the root browser, so you can access root files and copy and paste the root folders of your device. And secondly, you need something to hide the root uh, from the PlayStation um, Remote Play and the PlayStation, uh, the normal PlayStation app. So I use Root Cloak, which is a exposed mm, application. You should uh, install uh, exposed installer. Go to modules, or so, sorry, go to downloads, and uh, write down Root Cloak. You will find it. You should install it and use that in order to hide the root from the app. Now what you do is after you download these two applications, you go to Root Browser. I have all files copied to the root of my um, of, of my device already, mm -hmm. so uh, I've copied them to the SD card as you can see. Here. And I move down. These are all the files you need. Uh, there's a link in the description so you can download these files and you can uh, install this yourself. So the first step is uh, what you do is um, you should. Um, there's one APK uh, file uh, which is the com.playstation.remoteplay uh, slash one dot APK you copy this long press it uh, I should uh, it's better to copy this one because uh, there's a bug in this one so it, uh, it, it removes itself after um, a reboot of the phone so now I've, I've selected the file you go back uh, as far as you can so back to the root of your phone and then uh, go to system so the system folder system and app so here yeah, the apps and then paste it I have this uh, file already so I do know but you should do yes and then you find uh, you should look for the file and uh, long press it uh, go to permissions and make sure it looks like this so uh, the owner the group and the others should have read permission and only the owner should have a write permission uh, it should be 0644 you can see it on, on the bottom of the of the window okay after you've done uh, that you go back to the SD card and let me find it real quick again So SD card, then there should be uh, two XML files. Uh, so you look for the extension XML com dot PlayStation dot com dot no com dot PlayStation dot PlayStation certified dot XML. And there's another one com dot PlayStation dot remote play indents dot XML. These should be moved to the same directory, so you can just select them both. Um, there's a multi select at the bottom here at the bottom, so you check that, then select them both like this and this, and you can just move them. So you move, then go back. Uh, you should go to the system, uh, etc. folder ATC and permissions, and then paste them here again. You do the exact same thing, so uh, you uh, select the uh, the the file uh, there's a com dot playstation files uh, com dot playstation dot playstation certified you select both or you select them one after another do permissions and exactly the same permissions then uh, for the next step which is uh, the last step actually one of the last steps uh, to be exact uh, you go again to SD card, there should be two uh, Java files, so a .yag file I guess, hope I pronounce it correctly. So you select them both again, this one, 
Oh, multi select this one and this one. You select them both, you move them, and you go back to um, system framework directory. So, system framework, paste them here, do the exact same thing with the permissions. So, uh, read, write, uh, read, write, uh, read, and read. Um, that's it. Then you should reboot your phone. So let's quickly reboot. Reboots. Okay. Uh, by doing this, you also install the Remote Play app uh, into your phone. Uh, so um, it will. Uh, it will be displayed in the app selection but it will not function yet so this is not a step you should uh, do after this So unlock your device, your SIM pin, or whatever pin you have, you go back, you go back to the root browser, uh, you go to the SD card, of course uh, the, the SD card can be another folder on your device. Uh, SD card. Now, um, well, sorry. First of all, we should download the PlayStation PlayStation app. What's this? What's the wrong one? Uh, go to the Play Store. Where's the Play Store? All right, down PlayStation. PlayStation app. Install. Exempt. So it's installing now. Uh, oh, just open it once. You don't have to log in or anything. So we opened it. It's launching now. Yes. Close it again. Uh, go to the root browser. Or find the APK on the SD card. Install this. Press install. Install. Should install like normal. Press done. Go back. Go to root clock. And now add remove apps. Now fintcom dot playstation should be the playstation remote play. Uh, you should add them here actually with the plus sign. Find com dot playstation and you should also look for the remote play app. Uh, remote play. So PlayStation app. PlayStation app and PlayStation Remote Play. I have them both actually already. Um, after you've done that, it should all uh, be active already. So you go to the PlayStation app. You press connect PlayStation 4, PlayStation rest mode, it's connecting, uh, 
I don't know if it works like this since uh, uh, doesn't currently have my PlayStation on account. So uh, let me quickly adjust this so you can see my screen. Like this. Let me change the HDMI. So I start my PlayStation. It still says connecting. Now it's connected to my PlayStation. Like you can see here, it's connected. Press PlayStation for remote play. Press next. Connecting to PS4. Oh, this should work. And now you have a remote play. Simple as this. I hope um, this is enough information. If you still have questions, please uh, feel free to post a comment, and I will try to help you. Thank you.